Hey guys, welcome back to Arts and Casts. As you can see in the title, we're doing Tamagotchi mirrors. A little blast to the past. I used to love these as a kid. I've already done the projecting and the black outline. I'm going for this muted purple and the other I'm going for like a bright watermelon. After I show you a little montage of what got me to this point, I'm just gonna jump right into getting the colors in here. Let's do it. We're back as you, ow! I'm always getting attacked by this frame. Okay, we are back. As you can see, we have one of them done. I'm gonna be honest. I've been going through some uh, rug burnout and I haven't looked at this project in over a month. And I really wanna get this done. So today's the day, we're finishing it off. My brain's feeling a little bit better. I'm kind of hoping that once we get back into moving and working on the projects, that'll all work out. I don't know. It's almost taken two months to get this done and I'm just, today is the day the glue is being put on these. It's happening. Flip this around and get to work. Less talking, more working. I think we're just gonna get this one done quickly. So I'll come back to you when the pink is done. Wow. Ah. It is looking amazing and vibrant and beautiful. I am really cutting it close with the yarn that I have left at the end. All that is left is the green, so we're just gonna get right into that and finally glue this baby up. We are officially done! This one I got even closer. I was worried if that was even gonna have enough, but we did. In the middle, we're leaving, so they are done. First, clean up all my mess. We are ready to go. Get these babies glued up. As always, this is what we are using. I use this baby every time. Oh, reliable. I cannot feel my arm. <laughs> I ended up leaving it overnight because I was lazy and I didn't want to do it. But now we're ready to cut them out. <laughs> I still haven't found the proper size of mirror to go inside, so I still have to go out and look for that, but right now we're just gonna cut it out and I'm leaving a good edge. The cutest little egg you ever did see. Both of these are cut out. All I'm going to do is take the overhang and cut them in little pieces and fold them all in. And then the mirror, I'm also going to make that an actual hole. We did it! <laughs> the first one is done. This is what the back is looking like. So instead of putting the felt on, we're just gonna leave it like this until we get the mirror, so. We are on the hunt for the mirrors. First, I'm checking the dollar store. I feel like I've already checked here before, but I feel like they should have small little mirrors that I'm looking for. We're gonna try one more time. See these guys here? They're like floppy. I've gotta figure out a way to make the whole thing sturdy. We got some things to figure out. We have found a giant black foam poster board, which I think will be perfect for the back sturdiness that I wanted, but I'm having no luck with mirrors. Not one mirror. The only ones they have are like the makeup ones and they're all connected to a stand. Oh my goodness. I even went to Michael's last resort because I know it's expensive. The mirror saga continues and hopefully ends here. I want to get this over with. I might start shaving over the top. We will continue finding the mirrors when we put it together, I guess. We're going to get shaving. This part is honestly always so intimidating, but I'm just going to try and do a level coat over the whole thing. Ugh. I've been working away. I've pretty much finished this guy. Now we're just finishing off this one. I still have a lot more to do. Uh, I don't wanna. see we are done the trimming process that was a lot of using the shears in the last three days and I am so tired from that <laughs> also after looking at six different stores I ended up just having to get the mirrors off of Amazon but luckily they look like they will fit perfectly thank goodness so I think the next step is gluing these down on this board putting the mirror in and then we can clean up the edges and add our final details hallelujah for this working out <laughs> So now that I have this all glued up, so I'm gonna take my giant table and I'm gonna let it harden like that. <laughs> now we'll do the other one. No! 
What do I do? Ah, so I'm checking this one out. And a little bit of glue. And onto the mirror a little bit. I'll deal with that later. Right now, we're just gonna squeeze them both so carefully. Okay. <gasps> yeah, that was so carefully. We did it. We are on the final step. I left these squished overnight. Now I'm just gonna take my handy dandy X-Acto and cut these babies out. This is so exciting. Okay. And just like that, they are all cut out. But I also lied to you guys, there is actually one more step. I'm now just going to take my scissors and do the final trim around the edges, and then we are done! Looking adorable! Mm, mm, mm. Oh, we have officially done it. After two months of procrastination and a whole bunch of work, this is always the best feeling. Without further ado, let's show these babies off. First, we have my purple Tamagotchi. She is gorgeous, she is beautiful. I love her so much. And then of course, we have our beautiful watermelon. This one glows under UV. She is stunning. Also, this is the back. We've got the board. And honestly, I love how sturdy it makes everything. I might start using this as a hack for the things that I wanna put on the wall because this makes it so easy. And now I could just get a little drill bit and put it on the wall. I would call this an absolute success. So yeah, that is all I have left for this video. Thank you guys so much for getting this far and for watching. As always, stay tuned as I have so many projects in the works. Please like this video, comment if there's anything else you would like to see, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next week, peace.